Today I'm going to teach you how to embroider on the Mink Sherpa Blanket from All About Blanks. Today's video is sponsored by All About Blanks, your place for blanks. When I first got the Mink Sherpa Blanket, I have to tell you I was a little intimidated by it. It's really big, it's really soft, it's got a unique material on both sides, and I kind of didn't figure out how I was going to do it. But then I quickly found out that there is a hidden zipper and that was a game changer. So today I'm going to teach you how to cozy on up to your Mink Sherpa Blanket blanket from All About Blanks and teach you all the tricks and tips so that you can get a professional result. So grab your machine and let's get stitching. The Mink Sherpa blanket comes in lots of different colors so have fun choosing. Select a design and the appropriate hoop, a way to place and mark your design, some straight pins, embroidery needle, thread and bobbin, poly mesh and some water soluble stabilizer. The blanket comes in a nice, wonderful, I'm going to say reusable plastic bag with a zipper. And then the next challenge is to find the hidden zipper on your Mink Sherpa blanket. But once you've found it, unzip and leave it open. Now it's time to decide where you want to place your embroidery design. Now I'm going to be doing a monogram and honestly it's really up to you. You can put it in the center or you can do it on one of the corners and I've decided I'm going to do it on a corner. So the next thing is to place my design. I have a really good idea how big my design is and so I'm basing my placement on that, keeping in mind that I have to have room to actually get the hoop in the material. So I'm placing my design right there and I'm going to go ahead and hoop one layer of the poly mesh. Make sure it's nice and tight in the hoop and I like to get it right inside the hoop, tighten that screw as tight as my little fingers can go and then I kind of push the inside hoop past the outside hoop about an eighth of an inch. All right, now we know where we want our design and I'm just going to go ahead and open up that blanket, find the underside of the area I want to have embroidered and we're gonna place the hoop inside the blanket for right now. This way we know it's laying nice and flat exactly where we want it to be ultimately positioned. Once you have the hoop in there, run your fingers around the inside hoop so it kinda helps you see where your hoop is placed and we're gonna go right through all the layers with a couple of straight pins. I start at the top and we're trying to get them on the side here and remember, we're going through all the layers. We'll reposition our pins in a moment. Right now, it's just to make sure we have the placement accurate. Okay, I'm really happy with that, but now, as you can see, it's time to position those pins so that they're not going through all the layers, but only through the top layer. So we are putting the straight pins through the top layer of the blanket and that poly mesh stabilizer. Now repeat that all the way around and let's add more pins so that we really have that top blanket attached to the stabilizer. Now once you have that, we're going to pull the hoop directly outside of the blanket and make sure our machine's set up with needles and thread. Once we're at our machine, let's go ahead and get that hoop into our machine. Snap it, clamp it, however you get that hoop to attach to your embroidery machine, go ahead and do that now. Make sure there is no blanket or any of the materials laying under the hoop. Making sure that you're feeding the material underneath the needle and presser foot and giving yourself plenty of room to work around. Now we're going to place that water soluble directly on top and don't forget to remove that sticker. The pins are still in your material and that's okay, we're going to remove them in a moment. Go ahead and start stitching and as you're stitching you are going to remove the straight pins. You're going to have that material all puddled up around the needle and press your foot and you're just going to take your time. Now I chose a monogram design and I did slow my speed down so that I had a little bit more control and I just used the stop and start as I went along and everything went really great. Just remember to make sure everything is out of the way and when you're finished remove the hoop from the machine and voila the design is complete. Now it's time to remove all of our stabilizers and obviously the hoop. So first things first, let's get that hoop out of there. 
Use some fabric shears to cut around that poly mesh stabilizer. Be sure not to cut that blanket with those scissors. Be real careful. And now it's time to turn it right side out and of course, zip up the blanket. Now let's work on that water soluble stabilizer. Rip it away as much as you can. You can use a straight pin to get into the tiny little areas, just taking your time, not hurting the stitching or the blanket. And of course, what doesn't come out will wash real quickly. And just like that, this is going to make a beautiful gift for friends and loved ones. You can add all kinds of embroidery designs. Remember, you can place the design anywhere you want now that you have the ability to unzip that blanket. Give it with a beautiful candle, maybe someone's favorite book or a bookmark, uh, something that they're gonna snuggle up and save this blanket for years to come and treasure this lovely gift.